Hey everyone, I'm in my uh, 2008 <clears throat> Volkswagen Passat 364 Motion. Today we're just going to go over some of the safety, uh, active safety features that this car has. Um, this could be a demonstration for numerous vehicles, but we're just going to use this car as the, as the vehicle of choice. Um, so we're going to demonstrate stability control, traction control, and analog brakes. So being in this, um, you know, this blizzard here, this would be a good demonstration on a low traction surface of what we can um, accomplish using some modern tra traction and active safety features. So this car also has all-wheel drive, so it's going to have a little bit more traction than a two-wheel drive vehicle. Alright, so I am still in reverse. Let's put this in drive. Now, we're just going to go up here. and We'll speed up to like 20 miles an hour and I'll hit the brakes hard. Let's see, 20 miles an hour. And we came to a stop. So that was a uh, analog brake system making some chatter, just modulating the brake pedal. We're gonna go around this area. Let's make a little loop. Got some people on there. Snowmobiles kind of an area where they dump off their cars and get their snowmobiles out. This car takes a while to stop with the analog brake system. Don't ask me why. It's kind of sensitive for an analog brake system in my opinion. So let's do uh, traction control on. Alright, so we'll do a full throttle acceleration on ice should be fairly funny. Should take away power though. All right, full throttle. As you can see, full throttle takes away a lot of the power. Actually, pretty much most of it. I think it upshifts into second gear by itself and then it will uh, take away most of the power. So right now, we can probably do a stability control test somewhere over here if there's some empty space. I'm just going to do a little turn and show you what happens when you make a gentle... This looks going to be pretty good here. Alright, so we'll do a right-hander. Okay. I probably would have spun out there if I didn't have stability control. Um, Alright, let's see. came to a stop. I don't know why the analog brake system is so sensitive, but that's the way it is. So let's do another stability control test here. So I'm going to go up to like 20 miles an hour and then just make a quick right. Make some chattering noises. But basically if, if I'm understeering to the and I'm turning right, it's going to pull on the back. It's going to apply the brake to the back rear wheel. And if I'm turning to the left and it's understeering, then it's going to pull, it's going to break the left rear wheel. So that's how stability control works, just a traction cornering aid. Keeps you from spinning out usually. So I'm going to full throttle, full throttle right now. I'm still applying the full throttle gas. It's just not letting me spin out at all. That is if you have quick hands on the wheel. So, I mean, here, we'll do, let's take a right turn onto this road over here. Turn signal on, just gonna wait for this car to pass me on the left. All right, now let's do, let's do full throttle. Full throttle. All right, gotta be careful here. Once again, the road's gonna take off. And it finally gave me a full throttle gas. So that's what stability control, trash control do. They work in sync take away power when you're about to spin the car or when you're spinning the tires at all. Um, an analog brakes keeps your wheels from locking up when you're braking so that you can turn when you make maneuvers, etc, uh, etc. Et so basically they just help keep you on the road in very slippery conditions. I'm going to put this in sport mode because I feel I got a lot of take off here. Pretty 
fast car. But yeah, stability control and traction control will keep you on the road in most driving circumstances. But you can't be too stupid. It won't save your ass if you're going too fast. Alright, thanks folks. Have a great day.